Hello, Internet, and welcome back to another episode of the Story Nook. Go ahead, grab your coffee, your tea, your hot cocoa, whatever it is you want to drink today. Curl up with some nice fluffy blankets, a stuffed animal of your choice if you want, and join me for another episode of the Story Nook. And today... We will be visiting a new subreddit that we haven't visited yet before. Um, I'm going to call this segment Entitled Beans. Uh, Most people can call it Titled People, Entitled Parents. I'm just going to put this under the Entitled Beans uh, section. But this first story that we're going to read is from r slash entitled parents and it was posted by unidentified underscore op and the name of the story is egg donor tried to sell off my electronics which i bought with my own money i bought it back now she wants them back when i said no she tried to sell my sports equipment so yeah let's go ahead and get this story started Yes, so a few days ago, after a letter was served to Egg Donor about the charges to her and her perverted spawn, she proceeded to try and sell off some electronics, a Kindle, a digital art pad, and a stylus, and a pair of headphones. Thank God I had an anti-theft software on my Kindle, knowing if I had left it, she would eventually sell it off or destroy it. The software got activated when the person who my mother sold it to, tried to open the Kindle with the wrong password my mother had given them. After three tries, the software locked itself and had a message pop up that said that the owner, me, has been notified of the possible break-in. It also says if you acquired this Kindle by buying it off someone that is not the owner, please do not sell it off as the owner will come to pick it up. Truth be told, I went to pick up my Kindle, art pad, and stylus and headphones, Egg donor sold all of them at the same place, so I bought them back at the same price that they gave to egg donor. Apparently, the salesman also called egg donor, and she asked for the Kindle back. I ignored her message. Later, when I got back to the home, I got a text from my coach. Here's how that went, coach. Coach to me. You ran away? Me, what? Coach, your mom's here saying that you ran away and she came to get your equipment. Me, question mark? Coach, she says she got into a disagreement and ran... She says you got into a disagreement and ran away and you might have come here to steal your equipment. She asked if you have came by recently. Coach, what is going on, OP? Me, I am suing her for abuse and my brother for sexual harassment. She has just been served the lawyer's letter. She just sold off my Kindle and now is trying to probably sell off my equipment because she thinks she owns them. All my equipment up until now, I have paid in full with my own savings or was won from competitions or as rewards for my coach or club. Coach, okay, I'm going to call the police. Will that impact your case? me i don't know but please do not tell her i haven't collected it and do not let her leave until the police get there and do not let her touch my equipment please i'll come by to get them tomorrow coach okay i called the police one minute later coach she now says she messaged you and you said you want to sell your equipment me she is a lying piece of garbage please do not let her in the shed coach okay coach you should probably come and get your equipment in like 15 minutes. The police are here. So I went to my training grounds with my dad and my lawyer as a witness or to tell me if anything I say or interact with her can be detrimental to my case. And she was shouting and arguing with the officers. She sees me and immediately says, There, she's my daughter. You can ask her. She made a beeline for me. My dad, my coach, and the officer literally came between me and her. My coach bellowed like he may be considerably tiny, but he had a very deep 
deep and loud voice. Back the F away! Now! The whole place could hear him. My egg donor got stunned and jumped back. The officer arrested her while she was still stunned. She was dragged off into the police car. She continued to shout that she knows her rights and that they can't do anything because I'm her daughter. I collected my equipment and any other of my things I leave there. Small accessories that we were supposed to wear for competitions, but don't when we are training. TLDR, egg donor sold off my equipment, art pad, and headphones after getting served the charges against her. When I bought them back, she demands them back. When I said no, she tried to sell my sports equipment and gets arrested. Edit, for those who haven't read my past posts or are not very clear what has went down before this inter incident, let me clarify. One, egg donor is my biological mother, but I will not refer to her as such because she hasn't done anything in my life to show she is a parent to me. So, no, she is not my mother. She is the lady who donated her egg to make me. Two, the reason for my charges are I am charging her preferred spawn, my brother, with sexual harassment because he took videos of me changing and sent them to his friends to watch. In these videos, you could see my naked ass and breasts. Three, the point up until Perverted Spawn took those videos, Egg Donor has also done many, many things I now know are not normal things you do or, d or done to you when you're growing up. That I didn't know when they were acts of mental and emotional abuse. Four, I am now in contact with my father. He is intent on helping me with this lawsuit and has hired lawyers for me and himself. He's suing egg donor for parental alienation because she manipulated him into leaving us behind and then turned around and told us and everyone else he fled. I hope this clarifies doubts and confusion. And for OP, I really, really hope that this court case goes well for you. I do recall reading several of your past posts and I don't know if I put them in my reading queue. But yeah, for OP, I hope things go well with her case. Well, their case, I don't know their gender. I'm presuming that they are female, but I don't know if they identify as female. They could have just been born as female. I did not check. But for OP, I really hope their case goes well. And actually, the next one in my uh, reading queue for Entitled Beings is actually another post by Unidentified OP. Uh, the first post was posted a month ago. This one's two months ago. So this was posted before uh, her mom, their mom, sold their electronics and tried to steal their equipment. So this is another post by Unidentified OP. Entitled mom wants me to apologize and go home because she doesn't want to wash the dishes and clothes. Father flies back and releases hell on her. So let's go ahead and get into this story. I feel like I might have to go back and read it all in order aloud. And I might do that in a little bit. But for these two, you'll, you'll have to deal with them being out of order, I'm afraid. So a little background. I left home after my aunt confronted my mother about the lack of punishment on my brother for filming me change and sharing that video with his friends. Mom, mother calls police and aunt and I now, mother calls police on aunt and now I am currently in a youth home with which no one knows where it is except my aunt. My family had cut contact with her and my brother. So, into the story. I have been going low contact with my mother and no contact other than leaving my brother on red. My mother has been spamming my phone telling me she will let me go home if I apologize for making a scene and to apologize to the rest of my family for making them go through this. I ignored her. She later calls me and here is how it goes. Entitled mom, come home. Your tantrum has gone too far. We you need to apologize and get a grip and come home. Me. Just listens. No replies. Entitled mom. I said come home and apologize now. Me. No. I cut the call. She calls back after 15 minutes. I pick up and listen for a while until this hits. Entitled mom. Come home now. I don't want to wash the dishes and do laundry and cook while I work. It's tiring. 
You used to do all that when your grandma was not here, and she's not here, so you have to do it. Me. Silence. Entitled Mom. Do you hear me, you ungrateful child? You better. I cut her off. Me. No. You listen to me, and you remember. I will never go home to you, and I will never go near you and him ever again. Take this as courtesy notice. I am no longer your daughter. You will never see me or hear from me again. I hang up and I blocked her number. Two days later, my aunt messaged me and told me my dad was at her door. I had not seen him since I was five after my parents got divorced on the grounds of his affair. And my family hates him for that. My aunt was pissed that he showed his face at her door. He asked nicely to know where I am and to go and see me. My aunt, of course, in her fashion, laid it into him about his affair. He took it and apologized after and asked for my whereabouts. My aunt messaged me to see if I was okay with dad knowing where I was. I told her it would be fine if we met at a cafe or restaurant nearby. So we met today and had a nice breakfast. He asked me what was wrong and why I'd run away. I thought he knew, so I said, what do you think? He said M.M. E.M. told him that I got scolded and grounded for something and was pissed, so I ran away. And it was probably teenage angst against uh, angst, according to Entitled Mom. I was fucking dumbfounded. I told him, that's not even close to why. I told him everything. Everything that happened after, what she did, more like what she didn't do, and how she reacted when I tried to tell her I felt unsafe. He was fucking pissed. He was pissed for the fact that he didn't know about it earlier, and for the fact Entitled Mom tried to lie and get him to coerce me into going home. After the meeting, he told me he was going to Entitled Mom's house and confronting her. He says he will take me away with him and threatens to sue her for abuse because some of the things... She did to me his claws for emotional and physical abuse. He's also threatening to cut off my, my brother's education funds and transfer them for me to use. He left, and I don't know what happened afterwards, but I think he's going to speak to his lawyers with me soon. Mini update. My aunt told me my mother and father have both been arrested. Apparently, my father went to Entitled Mother's house to tell her he isn't going to help control his child. She said he is going to pull up to be a good dad and get her daughter to come home so they can be a happy family. And she added, that's the least you can do for us. My dad blew up in the comment. He said something like, you're the one that needs to pull up and protect both your children, not only one. And I can see them because of you, too. This led to a screaming match and the neighbors called the police. They came and separated both of them and took them to the station. My dad called one of his friends to bail him out, and my egg donor called her sister, my other aunt, who refused to help her and bail her out. So egg donor stayed in the station overnight while my brother spent the night at the station as well. And it has also come to my attention that some of the comments on this post was right. Egg donor got a restriction order on my dad citing mental instability. He had PTSD from a work incident that happened to him when he was 25-ish. Egg donor 1. The stipulated guideline was he couldn't have contact with us unless we contacted first. She never gave us his number or means to contact him, unless it was when she passed me the phone to call him to ask to give her mo more money for our children. Which I don't know what happened to that. Egg donor then made up lies that told us he abandoned us. I fucking hope the night I in jail, the n night I jail have her, the night in jail she has was a hard slap to the face. And there were some grammar issues, and my brain did not know how to interpret them, so I apologize. But yeah, that is the end of whew, unidentified OP is dealing with a lot. Let's all just. Send them hugs and lots of cookies because they need it. They 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 need it a lot. Hopefully things are going to get better for them. But yeah. Um tell me what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as it was possible to enjoy. And yeah. Bye bye.